In this lecture, we will use Inkscape to automatically vectorize a bitmap logo. I will use Bing Image Creator to get some ideas for a logo. Bing Image Creator is a free service, and you can type what kind of logo you want. I typed, logo, coffee shop, flat design, minimalistic, three colors, and on a white background. I created several examples, and downloaded a logo I liked. In Inkscape, I go to File, Import. I open the coffee shop logo. I will crop the logo, using the rectangle tool. I drag over the logo, press the space bar, and position the rectangle. I shift click on the image. I right click, and choose, set clip. I right click again, and choose, crop image to clip. I right click a third time, and choose, trace bitmap. In the last lecture, we used single scan, to create a brush. Now we have a color image, so I click on the multicolor tab. For detection mode, I choose, colors. Scans, means the amount of paths that will be created, which is by default on 8. Let's see, if I can get fewer paths. If I reduce scans, I see that I can bring the amount of paths down to 6. I also want Inkscape to remove the white background. Let's see what happens if I click on apply. When I zoom in, I see some speckles. This means, Inkscape made a very detailed scan. So let's try again. When I hold my mouse above speckles, I read that by increasing it, small spots will be ignored. So I increase the speckles value. I will also select Stack, which attempts to reduce gaps. I click on Apply. Now let's optimize the scan. In my layers, I see I have a group of paths. I hold Alt, to look at the layers. I zoom in on the most right element. We see, the path is not smooth. So I go to Path, Simplify. I see that the shortcut is Ctrl L. This already looks better. Let's have a look at the nodes. I select the node tool. I think I can reduce the amount of nodes even more. So I press Ctrl L. Now I can easily adjust the shape, when needed. I select the middle element. I press Ctrl L three times. When I click on the left element, I see I have a compound path. I prefer to work with individual elements, so I go to Path, Split Path. In my layers, I see I have now two separate paths with the same color. I select the left element. I press Ctrl L two times. Then I select the black outline, and go to Path, Split Path. I select the handle. I press Ctrl L several times. Now I select the cup outline. I see I get an undesired effect in the corner, when I press Ctrl L. So I press Ctrl Z. Let's see what happens, when I delete individual superfluous nodes. I remove some nodes at the right. Each time I remove a node, Inkscape will restore the curve as good as it can. Finally, let's look at the inside of the cup. I select the green element, and press Ctrl L two times. Because I will expand the shape to remove gaps, I will delete all superfluous nodes. Now I only have to drag three nodes, to remove any gaps. The shape above, is below the green shape. Here I will press Ctrl L several times, to remove as much nodes as possible. To remove all gaps, I increase its size, holding Shift plus Ctrl. I have now traced the logo. And I optimize the paths to a minimum amount of nodes, so I can easily adjust the shapes, if needed.